Hi, welcome back, and today we are talking about the RWA Nighthawk Custom Stainless Steel version. Woo, man, just hear the sound of it. How's it with the mag? Yes, yes. Oh, God, this is so nice. How's the trigger? Yes. Trigger pull is super light which leads to more accuracy, can lead to more accuracy. I mean, look at this, I'm hitting the wall right here and push through just a little bit. That's about four, three millimeters. And there we go. There we go. How is the reset? Reset is very quiet, not as positive, but that's all right, the slide, it's super smooth. Oh my God, if I compare it to something like this, I don't know, it, it feels mushy, I guess. And this one, yeah, no, it, 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 no, it's, nah, nah. It's all about this one. This is, oh my God, this is super smooth. Really cra crazy, I gotta tell you that. The internals are all CNC steel, so they made sure that this is going to last for a very long time. Also, if you remember, when you watched my last video, I couldn't lock the slide back, and I didn't know what the issue was till I opened it up. And you see, they got some, they put some bushings here, and um, straight from the factory, they put even more bushings on there to where it did not allow to, the slide to move all the way back to the point where it can slide back. I don't know why they did that. It's ridiculous. But I took a few of them out, and now the slide, back, slide uh, locks back without any issues. I took this one out two times, and uh, the first time around, it didn't work because it was way too hot, another hot day in Texas. And what happened was that, let's see if I can show it to you. Okay, there we go. You see that O-ring right here by the nozzle? Right here. So the pressure was so, so high that it, the O-ring got pushed out of the socket and as the nozzle was retracting it kind of kind of get, get it got caught so it wouldn't go back anymore so it stay like this you tried to put it back but it wouldn't so i had to take out the whole thing apart and see what's going on and then i saw that well that old ring was out of place i had to put it back into that little um, socket and um it was running fine However, when I tried to shoot it again, it didn't work. It began, again, it was just too hot. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's interesting having some issues. I remember, I don't know if you remember my other video, I had another, another issue with this one as well to where it was just too hot and the hammer of it is too, too weak for it to push the, the valve open, it just didn't work. I don't know, maybe it's a CO2, a CO2 thing. However, with this pistol, I never had any issues. Well going on humor x beretta however this one's broken shoots only full auto i tried to find that little part to get it fixed yeah well good luck with that another thing you have to keep in mind is the upper part right here so if you can see it's a little bit loose if you tighten it too much these screws and these two screws they go way too deep inside and they push down on uh, this bracket right here where the whole um, nozzle is um, attached to it. Now what happens is the nozzle is held only by this little screw right here, if you can see that. Now, if these two screws are pushing too much down, what happens, the whole cage is tilting a little bit downwards. And if it's tilting downwards, it is rubbing against these slides right here. And then it's not sliding as perfect as it's supposed to. So it doesn't bother me, bother me too much because I'm not really sniping with this one, so it's fine. Uh, what you can do is use uh, Loctite 
and you could I could even tighten it a little bit more and then it's uh, it's fine the cool down on this one is absolutely insane I'm using 0.2 BBs and let's see what she got All right, so you can see how the, what do we got? We got 354, 356, 49, 37. So slowly it's going down. Now, the cartridge feels already a little bit cold. I'm gonna do some rapid fire and you will see how the FPS is dropping. Well, there we go. I was able to get well, we get 16 rounds and I did it super fast and uh, the CO2 is almost empty. We're down to 275. I think we still got some little gas left. Let me warm it up with my hand just a little bit. Jesus Christ, this is cold. I almost got a burn, freeze, freezing burn. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Come on, give me one more round. <laughs> all right that's it that was the last round that was uh what round 17 and we got 182 fps um if you shoot conservatively you get one round then you wait maybe a few seconds and then another one and you do that you can get out of one cartridge about 40 rounds shooting fast Man, th this one will cool down so fast, you'd be like, what the hell's going on to where this one shines then? Because the spring is super light, the slide is super light. Cool down on this one with the CO2 cartridge? Not really. You can even do um, full auto and just go through full mag and you'll be fine. Also with this one as well. It's just super light. Although this one has a little stiffer spring. Let Enough talking. Let's see how this one shoots. I'm gonna hold this really nice and easy. So you can see that there is some strong recoil. Now, if I'm gonna be holding it really nice and tight, I hope you guys can see that. You can mitigate the, the recoil. Now, I think you can already hear it, the cool down. Shoot it fast. There we go, it's already cooling down. And yep, it's pretty cold. You can already see the condensed water kind of like starting right there. So shoot conservatively, conservatively with this one and uh, you'll, be, you'll be fine. I guess that's like one huge negative on this one. But you know what are you gonna do when you have a strong slide spring and then also a strong hammer spring. This, the hammer spring is pretty strong, I tell you that. It's almost like the real one. And you know when Red Wolf Airsoft is talking about that it is a 11 pound pull, I guess it's combined with uh, the slide spring and with the hammer spring together. Because I really have to apply force to slide it back. Now, now it's, now it's way easier. It's still strong, but it's much easier. And just like the real, uh, real steel one with pistols or rifles, once the hammer is cocked, and then when you when you rack the uh, the bolt carrier or uh, the slide back, it's much easier. One of my biggest concerns with this pistol was: is this only a collector's piece, or is it a shooter? The way they like to promote it on Red Wolf Airsoft, and to my surprise, it is. Getting, get, getting headshots up to 100 feet, no, no problem. No problem, all day long. Um, 150 feet getting, getting hits, no problem. And I think this one was shooting up to like 200 feet. 
and I'm very satisfied with that. I tell you, I really didn't expect to um, to perform it that well, especially out of the box. And stay tuned because in the next video, I'm going to be doing a direct comparison with the standard issue RWA Nighthawk Custom to with Maple Leaf um, products. So I'm going to be changing the inner barrel to a 602 Maple Leaf Super Jet, whatever that's called. And I'm going to be changing the hop up bucking with, uh, with Mr. Hop. And I'm also going to be changing the hop up unit, most likely. I'm not too sure about that yet because this one is made out of CNC steel, better than aluminum. But stay tuned for that one and see how much more accuracy can you get. We are using 0 0.2 and this is now the upgraded Nighthawk Custom. see already a huge drop on it um, just took out the mag and the co2 cartridge is pretty cold just warming it up with my hands let's see what's gonna happen now now we should see a little increase a little one and again if you do rapid shooting um, you know what's gonna happen a huge cool down and I'm gonna do that right now I don't even think we can go through the whole mag now There we go, down to 249. Let's see if we can do a little bit more. I'm gonna put a few more rounds in here. There we go, that's it, can't even do it anymore. And if you do rapid shooting, this is what happens, look at this. Ice. All right, we're still shooting with the same mag. I had it in my pocket, I warmed it up. Remember that it wouldn't cycle it anymore and it was uh, seeping out of it. Let's see what we got now. Let's turn this one on. So, let's see. Okay. All right, you see, that's exactly what I was talking about. So we had more about uh, more than 20 rounds and it got super cold. You saw how it froze on to, um, Onto this one, now it's super warm, it has a super hard kick again, and we're back at 370. What do we got now? 367. All right, we see that uh, the FPS went up by about five, uh, 15 FPS than what it was prior. And it's just so important to keep these mags warm. Because the cooldown is absolutely insane with this one. All right, look at this. It's dropping like crazy. But, I mean, think about it. We had more than, what, 35, 34 rounds with a heavy, super heavy slide. Not bad.